Earlier this week, the New York State Attorney General's office released a report about the Saratoga Springs police response to protests in 2021. My name is Jamaica Miles. I'm the co-founder and executive director of All of Us Community Action Group, and I also happen to be one of the individuals that was arrested in Saratoga Springs. There's some dates that you see over my head, right? July 14th, September 9th, February 20th. We start in 2021, we end in 2024, just a couple days ago. So July 14th, 2021, I participated in a protest that happened in Saratoga Springs. It was hosted by Saratoga Black Lives Matter and I was one of the guest speakers. During that time, we did what we always do. We had a peaceful protest, but what we had noticed and what we knew to be true was that Saratoga police were going to harass us. They were going to intimidate us, something that they had been doing time and time again, specifically to Black Lives Matter voters, specifically to those that were challenging those that currently sat in political power. Because what we were speaking about was the need for political change. The idea that the politics that were running the city were not for all of us. They were not for everyone. They particularly were not good for the black folks that were living in Saratoga. So as part of that protest, I spoke out. Other folks spoke out. Lex Figueroa was there. Chandler Hickenbottom, Samira Sangari, and a whole host of others were there speaking truth to power, calling for change. Now, what ended up happening after that day was that I was arrested along with others. On that day, the police actually charged the crowd. It was unwarranted, it was unnecessary. And these are not just my words, they are the words of many others like myself, as well as the New York State Attorney General. That's right, the New York State Attorney General has come out with their own report about what happened, not just on that day, but subsequently afterwards. So on September 9th, 2021, I was arrested I was arraigned and there's a video of my words that day about the First Amendment rights that we were being denied, the intimidation, the retaliation. And while we were saying this over and over again back in 2021, it took two and a half years of an investigation from the New York State Attorney General's office for us to actually get confirmation of what we had already said. Our First Amendment rights were being suppressed we were being threatened and intimidated, and it was at all levels of government, the police department, the mayor's office, the then public safety commissioner. And some of those things that came out in the AG's report, I'm gonna read just a couple for you real quick. Crooks was also texting with Mayor Kelly on July 14th after the SSPD had finished making arrests. Kelly texted Crooks, I hate these people, good job tonight, and asked, L's question mark, Jamaica question mark, inquiring whether Figueroa and Miles had been arrested. Crooks responded, warrants. Neither Figueroa nor Miles had outstanding warrants on July 14th. That's just one small piece, but don't worry, there's more. On July 26th, the chief deputy of the Saratoga County Sheriff's Office asked Crooks, and I quote, did you guys arrest Els, Jamaica, and the others from the protest? Crooks responded, that is the plan. Again, this is on July 26th. I was not arrested until September 9th. There was not a warrant for my arrest at that time. Days later, Mayor Kelly told Crooks that Black Lives Matter leader Molly Dunn crossed my line and Crooks responded that he had a plan in the works to arrest done earlier the next week. This is all found in the New York State Attorney General's report that if you go to our link tree, um, you'll be able to find that, right? So we've got the access to the full report. You can read it for yourself. There are so many pieces within this. We're talking about the mayor, the commissioner of public safety, the police chief, as well as others that were involved in the suppression of First Amendment rights in the city of Saratoga. This happened specifically to Black Lives Matter activists and leaders, myself included. The picture that's behind me is from September 9th, the day that I was arrested and arraigned in the press conference that we held. 
This is happening, not just in Saratoga, it's happening across the Capital Region. It's happening across New York State. The New York State Attorney General is investigating other acts that are happening across New York State. And I look forward to hearing the report about those instances as well. We also know what's happening across the nation. Black Lives Matter has been under attack from day one. And it's not stopping, folks. But it will allow for justice when we continue to have our voices heard. That when we stand united together, because back in July of 2021, all of us in Saratoga Black Lives Matter, we stood together, we stood united. And we're gonna continue to stand up and demand justice. That's not going to end. We appreciate the avenue that we have been able to take with the New York State Attorney General's office. It is not the only one afforded to us. We stand for truth, justice, and Black Lives Matter. So as you take the time to watch this video, share it. Tag folks, let them know what happened in Saratoga Springs. It's happening Albany, Schenectady, Troy, across the greater capital region. It also is happening across New York State in Rochester, Buffalo, down in New York City. This isn't new, but it must come to an end. The New York State Attorney General has made recommendations for Saratoga. Saratoga said, yeah, we don't agree with you. I look forward to seeing how this moves forward. I also look forward to the number of voices that are going to join us in this fight because we must continue to build. It is not enough for one of us to stand up and demand justice because justice only happens when all of us demand it. So as I am on this video today, speaking about the New York State Attorney General's report and their recommendations, we're not just recommending. We're demanding change. And if you stand with us, join us on upcoming meetings, discussions, conversations, be a part of all of us or Saratoga Black Lives Matter, because wherever you land, if you're fighting for justice, then you're on the right side of history. And as it is Black History Month, be on the right side of history.